parents may not need to be ready for school, but some Fort Bend County residents made sure their spelling was letter perfect in preparation for the second annual Great Grown-Up Spelling Bee. What was once a nerve-wracking grade school competition has now become a fun way for the Literacy Council of Fort Bend to serve the adults in the community. The Grown-Up Spelling Bee is a good old-fashioned spelling bee contest for adults only, um, people interested in spelling, uh, and it's some good old competition. Well, it raises money for a good cause. Uh, it gets everybody out here together for, you know, kind of get the community together behind illiteracy and to try to fight illiteracy together as a community. Uh, it's fun, uh, and people kind of get to come out and see just how good a speller they really are. It provides an entertaining opportunity to further the mission of the Literacy Council. The mission of the Literacy Council is to end the intergenerational cycle of illiteracy by improving adult literacy skills and raising awareness in the community of the importance of adult literacy. There are many adults um, today that cannot read past a fourth grader level and it's keeping them from getting good jobs, it's keeping them from being able to read to their children or helping their children in school. So as the Literacy Council helps those adults, it's helping their, it's actually helping our kids today with their future. This bee has a few differences from those you might remember that make it fun for everyone. First of all, it was adults only. It wouldn't be fair if we let kids come in here, they'd clean up the floor with us. But, uh, and then we had three, uh, what we call B enhancers. There was the, uh, the spell again, which meant that you could spell the same word over if you missed it. There was a mulligan, which meant that you could get a new word. And then there were the stingers, where you could give a hard word to a team and try to knock them out. And then we had some other fundraising things, like you could sponsor a word or you could sponsor a letter. Can you spell the word, please? <laughs> Aside from the fun and games, it was a serious competition. You know what's really funny? I, I don't think I'm a competitive person in general, but when it comes to games and you know things like this, I get super competitive. So I mean, although you know you would think, oh, it's a spelling bee, it's all for fun, charity event, you know, I, I was taunting and talking trash to the other <laughs> to the other teams, you know. So it, it got really fun. After the inaugural bee, some changes were made to involve more of the community. Well, last year was in the afternoon, so this year we decided to have it um, at lunch and make it more corporate, um, invite some more companies out. We had lunch catered. Um, people could come just as a, um, as a, a viewer instead of just a speller. Um, so we had a lot more folks come out to see the spelling bee. Everyone enjoyed a great day of spelling while helping others. One of the things I enjoyed was kind of seeing people in our community missing their spelling words and uh, that was kind of entertaining but it was all in good fun it was for a good cause it was for literacy which is so important most of us take literacy for granted and really probably couldn't imagine functioning in the world as an adult without knowing how to read. It's a wonderful cause yeah. and it's a chance to have a lot of fun um, doing something that will benefit so many other people and you, you just you get to be in the community, you get to meet, meet a bunch of other people and, uh, and raise money at the same time so it's a, it's you, a lot of fun. And you get to tell your co-workers, yeah I was in the adult spelling bee, they don't have to know whether yes. you want or not but that sounds really impressive. <laughs> Be sure to practice your spelling so you can participate next year in this great event that's creating quite a buzz in Fort Bend County. You can visit fortbendliteracy.org for more information. For Celebrate Reading, I'm Chris Farkas.